moment I've just got this bar set up in the truck, uh, not turning, this indicator set up from the bed. Um, it's not doing anything. The carriage isn't doing anything. The indicator set up from the bed against the end there. It's a two micron indicator, so it's very sensitive, like a, a tenth of a power indicator sort of thing. But you can see that the, the Achilles heel of this lathe is quite noodly. It's the torsional stiffness. Uh, you see, very easy to get. A tenth of a millimeter, fourth hour deflection there. Uh, and that's got nothing to do with the, the carriage or the dovetails or gib strips or anything else. That's just fundamental to the machine. Um, it's the amount of metal in the bed, and that's what it is. Uh, to give an idea, I've got this um, scales. If I put that on the tail stock, and hold the head stock. If you can see that, but it's about six. Six and a half kilos to get four thousand hundred um, micron deflection, point one of a millimeter. So this is without the lathe bolted down. Um, so obviously, if you're looking for any sort of accuracy, then um, bolting it down is going to help. Right, this is what I've been uh, up to with the lathe. I've made this um, bed to mount it on. It's a bit manky. There's some um, three inch by four inch angle welded up. Um, hollow section would probably have been uh, better, but um, or as good. But I had the angle. Uh, it's just a bit of a scabby bit sitting at the bottom of the garden. So I've um, welded two sections together and. The best, truest surface turned out to be the scabbiest one as well. So, drilled for mountings of lathe, and what I've been doing, I've, I've blued up the, just cleaned the mountain feet off with a file, blued them up. And I've been lifting this on and off. So, giving a little scoop around. And then using the uh, angle grinder with a sanding disc to start with and then a file just to get a true surface like that, across each end. Uh, so that I'm not twisting the bed as I bolt it down. Got these copper shims to help uh, take up any unevenness because obviously I'm bolting a uh, machined face here on the lathe onto a rough face here uh, and just uh, don't want to crack these um, mountain lugs off so I thought if I put some annealed copper shims between the two and I tighten it down the shims will take up any unevenness in the, in the bed and uh, get firm contact between the two. And I presume I'm going to need to shim the lathe up anyway to get it running straight. Um, and then any shims I put in can go between the, the copper and the machined face there so we get a true, a true seating. Right, so this is just sitting on the base with the uh, the bolts um, not done up. Just to reset the dial indicator to zero. So, not still noodly. I'm going to leave that dial in place while I tighten up the bolts. Check that the bed isn't being 
twisted as it go. Tighten the headstock down. Not snugging up and nothing's really moving. That was the one nearest me. This is the furthest headstock bolt now. That's just snugged up there. Let's move things. Perhaps a slot. Oh, no less than that. Less than 20 microns. I'll forgive it that. Let's get these tight. Those are tight. And we'll tighten the first tail stock one down. Move things a little bit to weak the nearest. It's pulling things further out of whack. Back that one off a little bit and try to tighten up the far one again. This one off again. Put some slack on there on the nearest one. They're both slack now. Put a piece of one and a half though shim stock. 30 odd micron shim stock. Oh, what would it be? 35 micron. that in there and tighten down again. That's the far one snugging up now. That's, that's quite tight. That's the near one snugging up now. You can see the dial's moving a, a smidge in, but it hasn't moved a thousandth of an inch yet. I've just put 18 microns, but half a foul. Live with that. So it's probably going to need to be shimmed if I do a, a taper test anyway. See how it goes. These ones are still tight. It's a new one. It's tight. And the far one. That would be the far one.
is good and tight too. Right, that's the moment of truth. Let me reset that dial to zero again. We'll get our scales. Let's put five kilos on. Five kilos we've got. So 25, 30 microns, maybe about a thousandth of an inch, compared to three or four last time. Nine, ten kilos there, we're on to 50 microns, 2,000, 0.05. I don't know if I can get it round to the, I can't get it round to the 0.1, it's 13 kilos. So, it's definitely better. Um, hopefully, it will make a noticeable difference. Alright, got some um, 20mm mild steel set up uh, in the truck. I was going to try something which I know I wouldn't have got away with before. About 100 RPM, and we'll see what happens. Feed a little bit and then it started um, chattering. We keep the feed nice and steady. It seems to be okay. Yassi. Let me part this pip off. I'm pretty sure there's no way on earth I would have got away with that before I bolted the bed down. 20mm uh, mild steel, conventional parting tool, um, parted off in the mini lathe. Call that a success.